Masterpiece Theatre is made possible by a grant from Mobile Corporation, which invites you to join with them in supporting your local public television station. Good evening, I'm Russell Baker. Most of us, I suspect, find it impossible to believe our parents were ever young, that they loved as passionately as we loved when young, or suffered as painfully as we suffered. This way we make our parents a little less than human. Ingmar Bergman, the great Swedish director, has been more generous in his film, The Best Intentions, which we're presenting in three parts, starting with a 90-minute episode tonight. Bergman is imagining what his parents were like as passionate young lovers long before he was born. I should note, incidentally, that while Bergman wrote the script for this film, he did not direct it. Now, Bergman is an artist, and artists are people who play fast and loose with the facts. Art, as somebody has said, is a lie that helps us perceive the truth. So don't take this story of Bergman's parents as absolute gospel. Biographical accuracy isn't what he's after. His father, for instance, was named Eric, and his mother Karen. Here they're called Henrik and Anna. His father was indeed a clergyman, as shown here, and Bergman disliked him intensely. Tonight's very first scene is based on an incident in Bergman's own life. When he was 46 years old, his mother begged him to visit his gravely ailing father in the hospital. He refused, saying he and his father had nothing to say to each other. We're about to see the cruelty of that moment attributed by Bergman to his young father-to-be. The Best Intentions, Episode 1. <laughs> 